welcome back let us proceed with the substitution method so from exercise 3.3 uh, here i have uh, question number 2 s minus t equals 3 and uh, s by 3 plus t by 2 equals 6 so s minus t is equal to 3 s equation 1 this is equation 2 we are dealing with substitution method so i'm so um, I'm comfortable with the um, equation 1 to replace. So, equation 1 becomes S is equal to 3 plus T. Okay. Now, look at equation 2, fractions and all. So, let us uh, change it. Now, equation 2 becomes, uh, let us cross multiply and uh, do. So, the denominator becomes 6. Now, 2s plus 3t equals 6. Now, to get a linear form, to get a linear equation, uh, let us cross multiply. So, 2s plus 3t is equal to 6. Now, equation 3. Now, let us do with... Uh, uh, let us uh, substitute s is equal to 3 plus t in equation 3. Now, let us do 2 into s is equal to 3 plus t plus 3t equals 36. Let us open the brackets. Uh, 2, 3, so 6 plus 2t plus 3t equals 36. Okay, now 6 plus 2, 2t plus 3t, 5t, 5t equals 36, transposing 6 to RHS, 5t is equal to 36 minus 6 is equal to 30, 5t is equal to 30 and t equals 30 by 5 is equal to 6. Therefore, t equals 6. Now, let us find s. So, to find s, we have, we know that s is equal to 3 plus t. s is equal to 3 plus 6. Therefore, s equals 9. So, t equals 6 and s is equal to 9. Isn't it easy? Now, let us move on to the, I will show you one more. That is question number 5. Root 2x plus root 3y equals 0 and uh, root 3x minus root 8y equals 0. Equation 1, equation 2. Now, from equation 2, so, I'm going to do with equation 2. So, root 3x is equal to 0 plus root 8y. Therefore, root 3x is equal to root 8y and x is equal to root 8 by root 3y. x is equal to root 8 by root 3 y. Now, equation 1. Let us substitute. Root 2 into, what is x here? Root 8 by root 3 y plus root 3 y is equal to 0. Now, root 2 into root 8. Root 16 by root 3 
y plus root 3 y is equal to 0. And what is root 16? 4. 4 by root 3 y plus root 3 y is equal to 0. So nothing in common. Yeah, I have y in common. So let us take y outside. So y into 4 by root 3 plus root 3 is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 divided by 4 by root 3 plus root 3. What is it? y is equal to 0. So here we have y equals 0. It is point x. Now I have x here. x is equal to root 8 by root 3 y. Now root 8 by root 3 into value of y is 0. So any number or whatever rational or whatever it is multiplied by 0 is 0 itself. Therefore x is equal to 0. So I have x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. Okay. Now Equation, I mean, uh, I have uh, the second question from exercise 3.3. Okay. The question is, sort 2x plus 3y equals 11. 11 and 2x minus 4y equals minus 24 and hence find the value of m. Find m for which y is equal to for which y is equal to mx plus 3. So, using these uh, uh, equations, let us find x and y and then we will find y. Okay, so here we are using substitution method. Now, Equation 1, equation 2. So, so, from equation 1, 2x is equal to 11 minus 3y, x is equal to 11 minus 3y by 2. Now, from, a, from equation 1, 2x is equal to 11 minus 3y and therefore x is equal to 11 minus 3y by 2. Now let us substitute x in equation 2. So our equation uh, 2 is 2 multiplied by 11 minus 3y by 2 minus 4y equals minus 24. So this 2 is common for 11 and 3y. So Cancelled. 11 minus 3y minus 4y equals minus 24. 11 minus minus 3 minus 4 minus 7y equals minus 24. Minus 7y equals minus 24 minus 11 is equal to minus 35. And therefore y is equal to minus 35 by minus 7. 35 by 7, it is 5. So, I have y is equal to 5. y equals 5. Now, what is x then? x is equal to 11 minus 3y replacing y as 5. 3 into 5 by 
2. That is 11 minus 5 threes are 15 by 2. That is 11 minus 15 minus 4 by 2. That is minus 2. Therefore, x equals minus 2. 11 minus 15 minus 4 by 2. It is 2. Now, we have um, x and y. Now, let us find the value of m. y is equal to mx plus 3. Now, y. 5 equals m into, what is x? Minus 2 plus 3. Okay. Now, transposing uh, 3 to left side. 5 minus 3 is equal to minus 2m. 2 into minus m minus 2m. 5 minus 3. 2 is equal to minus 2m. And m is equal to 2 by minus 2. That is minus 1. So the value of y is minus 1. So first find the, uh, the value of uh, values for x and y. And then substitute. Okay, very simple. Now we have four problems. You are given some situations and from the situation we will frame linear equations and solve. Okay. Now again from exercise 3.3, question number 3. Question number 3. Okay. So the question is about form a pair of linear equations for the following problems and find their solution by substitution method. So a situation is given from the given situation uh, frame two uh, linear, uh, I mean uh, pairs of linear equations and hence find the uh, solution. First one from question number three, question one. The difference between two numbers is 26. Random numbers in the difference 26 sum. So, here we have to take two numbers. Let the two numbers be. Yeah, first, I'll let me read the question. The difference between two numbers is 26 and one number is three times the other. Find them. This is very simple. So, let the two numbers be. Let the two numbers be. We are doing with pairs of linear equations. So the two numbers be x and y. See, I am doing with x and y. If you want to take a, b, b, q, whatever it is, you can take. It is your choice. So, let the two uh, numbers be x and y. Difference between the two numbers. Difference between two numbers. x minus y is equal to 26. This is equation 1. This is the first uh, step. Difference between two numbers is 26. Now, and one number is 3 times the other. One number is 3 times the other. One number is 3 times the Difference of two numbers is 26. And one number is 3 times. 3 multiplied by that number. Okay. Now, let us uh, substitute x in equation 1. So, equation 1 becomes 3y minus y is equal to 26. This is 2y is equal to 26 and y equals 26 by 2 that is 13. Therefore, y is equal to 13. We have one number. Now, x x equals 3 into 13. Therefore, x is equal to 39. So, one number is 13 and the other number is 3 times. 13 multiplied
multiplied by 3 is 39. So the two numbers are 39 and 13. Okay. From uh, now the next one, the larger of two supplementary angles exceeds the smaller by 18 degree. Find them. Supplementary angles. When two angles are added, sum is 180. So here the two angles, so the two angles be x degree and y degree. Okay. So x degree plus y degree is equal to 180. So let the angles be x and y. So x plus y is equal to 180. x degree plus y degree is equal to 180. Now, uh, larger angle, if x is larger angle, you can take here, uh, uh, I have taken x as larger angle. Larger angle exceeds the smaller by 18 degree. Larger angle x is equal to exceeds the smaller angle y plus 18. Larger angle and the smaller angle and the degree would like you. Okay. Now, equation 1 becomes y plus 18 plus y is equal to 180. Y plus Y 2Y plus 18 is equal to 180. 2Y equals 180 minus 18. What is it? I am very poor in subtraction. Minus 18. 0 minus 8. Not possible. So 10 minus 8. 2. 7 minus 1. 6. 1. Sorry. One sixty two. So one sixty two and y is equal to one sixty two by two. That is eighty one degree. So y is equal to eighty one degree. Now let us find x. So x is equal to y plus eighteen. That is what is y eighty one plus eighteen. Therefore, x is equal to uh, 8 plus 1, 9. So, x is equal to 99 degree and y is equal to 81 degree. Okay. Now, okay, I'll show you uh, the next one. So when you get the recordings, please do it. Please practice. Unless you practice, you won't get. You won't be able to do. You will stuck somewhere. Okay, now equation, I mean uh, fifth one I will show you. From equation, I mean question number three, so number five. The question is, a fraction becomes 9 by 11. You have to get a fraction. So, a fraction means numerator by denominator. This is a fraction. So, to get a fraction, so let us take x by y as a fraction. Okay. A fraction becomes 9 by 11, comma, if 2 is added to both the numerator and denominator. Full stop. If 3 is added to both numerator and denominator, it becomes 5 by 6. Find the fraction. Okay. So, what a fraction 9 by 11 are I have a fraction here. X by Y. Fraction 11 are Fractions become 9 by 11. 
when if 2 is added to both numerator and denominator when 2 is added to numerator and denominator okay let this be equation 1 now the second situation if 3 is added to both the numerator and denominator if 3 is added to both numerator and denominator it becomes 5 by 6 find the fraction we have to find x by y okay now we have fraction here we, we i don't know how to uh, simplify it is a fraction so let us cross multiply and get in terms of linear form so let us cross multiply 11 into x plus 2 is equal to 9 into y plus 2. So 11x plus 22 equals 9y back 9y plus 18. 11x minus 9y equals 18 minus 22. Therefore 11x minus 9y is equal to 18 minus 22 minus 4. So equation 1, the fractional form of equation 1 becomes converted, uh, converted into linear form. So equation 3. Now equation 2, let us cross multiply. 6 into x plus 3 is equal to 5 into y plus 3. 6x plus 18 equals 5y plus 15. 6x minus 5y equals 15 minus 18. Therefore, 6x minus 5y is equal to 15 minus 18 minus 3. Equation 4. So, I have uh, two equations. 11 minus 9x is equal to minus 4 and uh, 6x minus 5y is equal to minus 3. So, I think you can do it. You can uh, uh, use the substitution method and uh, find. You want me to do? Okay, I'll show you. So, let us replace this one. 11x is equal to minus 4 plus 9y. x is equal to minus 4 plus 9y by 11. Oh. Okay. So let us substitute x in equation 4. So equation 4 becomes 4 into x is equal to minus 4 plus 9y is equal to 11 minus 5y, 5y equals minus 11. Let me check. 4 equation um, oh. instead of 6 I go plus 4 6 into minus 4 plus 9y by 11 minus 5y is equal to minus 3 now let us open the bracket minus 24 plus 9 6 are 54 y by 11 minus 5 y is equal to minus 3 so we have to take the LCM so minus 24 plus 54y minus 55y by 11 equals minus 3. Let us cross multiply. Minus 24 plus 54 minus 55. 
minus y is equal to minus 23. Now, minus y or uh, minus 24 plus 33 is equal to minus 5. That is equal to minus 5. What is the difference of 24 and 33? 24 plus 6 is 30. 24 plus 6 is 30. 30 plus 3 30. 33 minus 24. How much? 24 plus 6 is 30. So it is 9. So 9. Therefore y is equal to minus 9. y is equal to minus 9. Let us find x. What is x then? What is x? I have erased it. So, you have the, um, you have x in your book. So, um, in uh, x, substitute y as minus 9 and good. Okay. Now, I have one more question to do from this. Uh, see, uh, question number 4, I will discuss um, uh, you in the next uh, session. When you, when, you, when you receive this uh, video, after, the, after that, I will discuss question number 4. Because if I tell you like this, you won't be able to understand. So, let, let, let us have an interact, interaction uh, session, then we will do so, question number 6. So, this one you have to complete. So, if we do question number 6, we can uh, 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 finish our exercise 3.3. I'll show you question number 6. Five years hence, the age of Jacob will be three times that of his son. So, the relation, I mean, we have uh, Jacob and son. So, let x be Jacob and y be uh, son. Five years ago, Jacob's age was seven times that of his son. What are their present ages? Okay. So, let us have Jacob and son. So let us take Jacob as X and son as Y. Okay. Five years hence. Five. So let us write. Uh, let Jacob be X and son be Y. Five years hence. So, 5 years hence, Jacob will be x plus 5. 5 years hence, Jacob will be right there. Jacob will be x plus 5. If Jacob is x plus 5, his son is also x plus 5. Now, so, and Jacob will be the age of Jacob will be three times that of his son. So, Jacob in the, after five years, Jacob is x plus five and his son is y plus five. So, uh, it is given, Jacob will be three times that of his son. That is, x plus, x plus y is equal to, 3 times Jacob in the by son or in the son in a car 3 times again. So x plus 5 is equal to 3 into y plus 5. x plus 5 is equal to 3y plus 15 and uh, x minus 3y x minus 3y equals 15 minus 5 is 10. 
equation 5. Now, 5 years ago, this was 5 years hence, 5 years ago, 5 years ago. So, Jacob was x and son was y. So, 5 years ago, x minus 5 and y minus 5. Now, 5 years ago, Jacob's age, Jacob's age was 7 times that of his son. So, 5 years ago, Jacob's age was 7 times that of his son. So, x minus 5 is equal to 7 into y minus 5. This is 5 years hence 5 years ago. x minus 5 is equal to 7y minus 35 x minus 7y is equal to minus 35 plus 5. x minus 7y is equal to minus 30. So, we have two equations. x minus 3y is equal to 10 and x minus 7y is equal to minus 30. So, uh, use, use the substitution method and find. Okay. Now, you have homeworks. Homework from exercise 3.3. From the first question, uh, you have to do 4 and uh, 6. 4, 6. Then Under 3, under 3, question number 3. And the rest we have done. And question number 4, we will discuss in our interaction session. Uh, I will uh, uh, give you the image. Please go through and then let us have the uh, let us discuss in the interaction session. Okay. Thank you.